My food fact is that dietary cholesterol found in foods like eggs and prawns has very little effect on our cholesterol levels. It's actually the saturated fat in our foods that will have the biggest impact. My food fact is that in the UK we're recommended to eat a maximum of 6 grams of salt per day, which is equivalent to 1 teaspoon. 75% of this is already in the food that we buy, without adding any to cooking or at the table. We tend to overconsume salt in the UK and have about 30% more than we should be having. If you're malnourished, a great way to get extra nutrition is to use fortified milk. Add four tablespoons of dried instant milk powder to one pint of whole milk and use wherever you would use normal milk. This provides 600 calories and 40 grams of protein. So what is the difference between pre and probiotics? Well, prebiotics are a type of insoluble fibre which isn't digested by the body. Foods that have prebiotics in them are things like chickpeas, beans, lentils, oats, bananas, berries. Probiotics are alive bacteria. Foods that have probiotics in them are things like yoghurt, such as Greek yoghurt or plain yoghurt, apple cider vinegar, pickled vegetables such as sauerkraut and aged cheeses. Both prebiotics and probiotics together are really essential for our gut health. An environmentally sustainable diet does not have to be a vegetarian or vegan diet. Complete exclusion of dairy and meat protein is not necessary. 